Welcome everybody. Nico Scarlet Moon here with your Path Watchers report on the incoming wave that will be here to stay for all individuals, groups, collectives, and experiences. For the third week in a row we have the sun. The fact that this is presenting for the third time regarding a wave that is here to stay is testament to its growing intensity. This continuation and amplification of the energies of this transition is getting quite profound. The displacement frequency and return to soul family is in full swing. And that, in and of itself, is expanding and evolving. Starting now, there is a release from contractual spiritual attachment, illustrated by the Hermit, to allow for development and evolution through true organic, non-karmic connection at a soul level. Remember, soul groups are not connected through contracts or stories. Oversoul connections are not mandated through records, nor any form of past life continuity. Of course, soul families share past life experiences and stories, but they are natural, organic occurrences. In fact, this wave sees a major dismantling of soul contracts and contract structures. Soul contracts shown to be detractive, limiting, or in any way an interference to conscious evolution are now dissolved and abolished. This is occurring at the highest oversoul level, with much assistance and oversight at the angelic level. This applies to individuals as well as groups. In fact, many who have already felt into these waves will be needing to make room for new additions this week. I continue to deeply welcome the return of my soul family. I have a video discussing oversouls for those who are curious. Links below. In the beginning, this process may be uncomfortable and perhaps a disturbance to some who may not be familiar with this new dynamic or understand the light behind it. It is a much more quick, healing, and elevating adjustment for those who move and shift with this flow. Much more than the alternative. Without judgment, step back from any internal or external pressures to postpone this transition by re-engaging, reattaching, or reprocessing looping cyclical experiences, false narratives, stories, and agendas. This is an incredibly high vibrational autonomous light doing this work. Embrace. Remember, this is medicine. This is grace. True soul family reunions will continue to occur more and more from now on. Freedom from that which will not go or let go is much easier now. Not only that, but beginning now, detrimental attachments and pervasive instances of stagnation will be completely dissolved, as the reordering of freedom from old agreements substantiates on all levels. This dismantling will be allowing all beings to be free of obligation to uncomplimentary contracts and stories in order to fully embrace those which are pure and organic on the soul level. Well, Aquarius, now that we've seen what the incoming wave is and how it's impacting everyone, remember it is affecting everybody. It's not just for one sign and it's here forever. It's not just this one week. However, it is landing this week and so that's why we're going to check and see what exactly is landing and how is it affecting you as far as like your group, your population is concerned. How is it interacting with your energy? Now, for your archetypal themes this week, we actually have the High Priestess upright. And it does feel like this uh, first hit of this wave is going to actually translate as sort of a fix-up, sort of a clean-up. Because what I'm getting from the High Priestess is ultimately a very personal, very hands-on, very one-on-one -on -one, uh, guidance, uh, almost like there is your own personal fairy godmother Mary Poppins type of energy helping you to make some serious alterations to what is going on in your life experience, in your life, you know, in your life stream that um, is really only just for you. And I feel like with the High Priestess it's important to pay attention to this because what I'm getting here is this is sort of uh, getting a lot of Aquarian people to 
maybe not necessarily detach, right, from other people. We've got huge oversoul family movements going on right now, but more about learning where our future, our plans, our growth, our evolution, our wellness, and our health on all levels, right, our functionality cannot be intermingled or entangled or attached to anything that could be too widespread among like a group. Um, this can sometimes show up in friendship circles and family circles. This can happen in, uh, yeah, even, even spiritual groups, you know, or, or any kind of uh, group po population and things like that. The High Priestess is coming in for you essentially. And when we have this, I am seeing that there is going to be, um, I'm wondering if this could actually be a person, you know, maybe a new member of your Oversoul family showing up, or quite possibly just an understanding that there is this big shift going on where you are being lifted out of a lot of spaces and a lot of commitments and attachments that you have and a lot of cycles and a lot of patterns and circles that you move in because you are evolving out of them because the high priestess upright is all about evolution it's all about basically not only shedding and molting that lower density but also at the same time raising our vibration raising our acuity increasing our capacities on all levels and bringing us to a new place of mastery and so what I find with the archetypal theme here is that a lot of you Aquarian people may be experiencing this week that you are kind of elevating above a lot of uh, circumstances where you believed or maybe just decided that your future was actually dependent on what happened with the future of a unit, a group, a team what have you, uh, because it's just not so, right? With the dissolvement and abolishing of so many uh, karmic contracts, family contracts, faction contracts, uh, you know, all of those kinds of things that we see going on right now, you might actually be finding that, no, there is actually no co-signed uh, destiny in this regard. And you have this chance to actually elevate yourself and your quality of life with the help of this High Priestess and advance all of it at once. In fact, as we get to news and arrivals, it will be quite evident that this might just be something that you are doing as part of your journey with you and maybe again a few choice soul family members. Because with the Nine of Swords reversed for your news and arrivals, we are actually seeing where there is, uh, you're getting almost like a sense of guilt or a sense of displacement over um, possibly being able to actually elevate yourself, to evolve, to grow, uh, to advance in a way where you are realizing that uh, quite possibly, yes, a social circle, a group, or a family structure that you have been trying maybe to elevate yourself or to integrate yourself into or, or serve is not going to advance or evolve that way. And that's a big thing to learn. You know, we all, uh, if you are on the path, you will go through that at some point in time. Uh, you might go that in multiple cases in your life, in multiple points in time in your life. And the Nine of Swords reversed is asking you to kind of confront some of that personal guilt or some of those personal feelings of, I don't know if I could do this. You know, I feel like it might be even socially irresponsible or immoral. Um, it's not immoral to evolve. It's not immoral to grow, to raise your vibration, to ascend, to work hard as long as you're doing this with the highest interest of all concerned and you're doing it ethically, what is wrong with that? Nothing. And I feel like this is a week where a lot of you Aquarian people, because you've heard me say it before, you know, as far as the, the, the archetypes of the signs are concerned, Aquarian people are probably up there as the most, you know, generous uh, sign there is. But I think that you may actually be in a circumstance with the, with the Nine of Swords reversed where 
you have to learn when it's okay to detach, when it's okay to move forward, to grow out of the ponds that you're in. You're not going to be completely alone. The displacement energies from last week are, again, with us forever. And so we're making room right now. As we move on to the material and business side of things, we have the Ten of Pentacles upright, beautiful breakthroughs when it comes to matters of material, uh, because, well, with the Ten of Pentacles, there is sort of a new reality, a new norm that is actually landing or substantiating or getting anchored into your experience. Find, you know, um, when it comes to your finances, in a lot of cases with the Ten of Pentacles, we have sort of a new long-term uh, sense of security. This could be coming out of a new long-term uh, source of income or source of material uh, wealth flowing to you, or quite possibly even something that is sort of a gift that keeps on giving in that way. But we also have, with the on, on the professional side of things, a, a very large opportunity you could take on that actually takes you into a place where you are moving away from doing something that seemed to be just generating liquidity for its own liquidity sake or work for its own sake or practical for its own sake into something that you feel really at home with that is also going to be a transition that you are knowing is an uptick. It is an up level as it relates to what you are doing with your time, with your creativity, and your professional and financial priorities. Because the Ten of Pentacles always shows up as a way for us to be able to enjoy a new way to generate and have abundance. And I think that for you, this week, this breakthrough is coming to you as a gift for you, as per the High Priestess. So do not reject, you know, because it does feel like it's coming in in a wholesome way. There's nothing bad happening here. It's something that I think you should at least entertain. Moving on to love and relationships. Well, we actually have the Eight of Pentacles upright. And when it comes to the opportunity for romance and relationship connections, well, we have the Eight of Pentacles bringing an opportunity for a lot of you to bond over maybe a shift in what is happening in your partner's life or maybe in a new person's life because we are actually seeing uh, with the Eight of Pentacles the sharpening or, you know, or improving of some kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe the way we interact, maybe the way we carry ourselves, the way we run our lives, the way we run our household. The Eight of Pentacles is all about a structural improvement, a structural shift going on in the way we are actually running the show in the everyday. But never underestimate how the change in those kinds of comforts, the change in those kinds of um, maybe patterns that we're mixing up, or maybe the, just the change in our overall quality of life can make us feel at home with one another. The Eight of Pentacles can absolutely indicate here that your partner could be doing, you know, pulling off a miracle when it comes to being able to make a turn when it, for uh, themselves, with their material wealth themselves, or it could actually indicate here, and what's, what's kind of coming through is that there's something that they're contributing to the relationship or they're bringing to the table that is going to make you feel like you are living in a completely different environment together. And what works about this is that we are not trying so hard to make things work in spite of the environment, but we are making things work because of the support of the environment, however this environment is going to show up, social, material, living circumstance, what have you. And the same has a chance to come for those of you who are actively looking for love and working on love. Okay, remember, like I said before, love doesn't always just come and kick your door in, so you've got to participate in the readings. But with the Eight of Pentacles, a new person as well will be bringing such an opportunity if you're open to allow yourself to step forward alone into a new type of living or a new type of reality to live. So that is what I've got for you, Aquarian people. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go on ahead to my website. It's called integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.